Well, here we are again, two old guys looking at the Vintage Film Channel, and uh, and I was going to make this a very short introduction, because instead of a feature-length film or a TV program, we're doing something a little different today. So if this was a little bit long in the tooth, I apologize. Uh, you, you want a short review for a short well, a, a, a short that deserves a short review, I would think. Uh, so I'm, okay, trying, well, I'm trying to add a little meat, a little comedy uh, to the front end. Maybe we'll do something at the back end. Art, this was called a feature short. This is one of those short comedies you would get when you went to the movies and they had a whole show. They had a feature film, you know, 90 minutes, and then they had a cartoon. Mm. They might have a newsreel, and then they have a feature short, a comedy. This was one of those, 1933. Um, it is a short. It's not terse. It seems to go on forever, I have to tell you. Yes. I don't know why they named it a comedy. Well, they try. Let me, okay, it just so, doesn't fit our humor. Wait, wait, but to John, John let, me, let me give you some perspective that I applied to this uh, because we do stuff. And... What I, I want, first of all, it's Western. I'm, I'm actually going to start this puppy up so that you can see how wonderful it is. Good idea. Uh, I, I didn't recognize a single name, but that's okay. Uh, I didn't recognize a real plot, but that's okay. Uh, but I, what I did recognize is that if you took every cliche and you ruined it, I put it into one... 17 minute segment uh you wouldn't miss anything if you went to the bathroom but it's it's you don't really get to see these kinds of things um anymore because we're in polite well, company they're they're only preserved by the vintage film channel and others right so they're hard to find and it you know what it's interesting to watch to think that people would go to a feature go to a movie theater you know spend a whole evening or a whole afternoon watching three or four films and this would be one of them right. and it's kind of cute um there was a whole you know the the um um uh, uh, who who were the, the the three uh, mo larry curly those right. guys were were presented in a feature short format you know that's how they made their bones and they became famous later on television well this is such a this particular uh, video um uh, What's it called? Leave it to Dad. Leave it to Dad. It's just a one-off, not a series. So it's fun to watch, you know, for 17 minutes, I guess. Oh, but yeah. I wouldn't... You know what? The studio, the studios had uh, a lot of people under contract. The uh, the protagonists are certainly attractive uh, uh, by any measure, even by even today's standards. They are attractive people. The, the, the girl and the guy who are, you know, the the keys to this whole thing. Uh, the character actors are in character, I guess. Uh, yeah. And they were all probably under contract and uh, they they earned their $5 a month or whatever they got paid at the time by showing up and appearing on a camera. They probably got the script minutes before they went on. Okay. Uh, and, and the writing was pretty pedantic. And l right. listen, I want to wrap this up because it's not worth too much time. I want to simply say, hey, it was 1933, you know? Right. Get over it. And that is our short review of the Vintage Film Channel, Leave It to Dad. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.